What's up, guys? Um, out here sitting in the truck, just got finished completing a skid right there to pick up, and I've uh, got paint and dirt all over me. And we also have a special guest appearance in today's video by Black Cat named Heimdall. What's up, buddy? He's an unlucky cat, but I like him. He's a sweetie. I like him. I like cats. If you don't like cats, I don't care. I like them. He wanted to sit with me. So, uh, you saw the video topic, right? And I'm, this is kind of one I, I hesitated to even make because it's kind of a weird topic talking about money, but it's an important topic. If you're in the industry, if you're working for yourself, whether part-time or full-time, your goal is to make money. And so, you know, you should have numbers there and you should be able to track it and see how you're doing. Last year was our first full-time year. And I've, I've said it before, we did about $200,000 last year. And uh, this year, I was looking the other day at how we're doing so far. I've got January to June's uh, bank statements are you know available now since we're into July. And I was looking, and I'll just show you the last couple of months, okay? I'm not gonna show you every month, and I'm trying, trying not to show you too much of my business, but basically, here's here's Wells Fargo, if you can see that. There's, there's Wells Fargo. And I'm gonna zoom in on, uh, let's turn it sideways here. Now we don't keep a lot of money just sitting in this checking account, but it uh, it just shows you what does come in. So we've got deposits there, as you can see, uh, $43,621. Um, so that was a good month. And then if we go back to, let's see, that was last month. Let's go back to May. Um, we'll look at May. We've got, hopefully it'll focus there. You can see deposits $45,525. So, and I'm not gonna show you all the months and just be boring, but they're, and they go up and down. Those were good months for us, but we're, we're starting to average around in that, that ballpark on a month. And I don't say that to brag, I'm telling, I'm showing you what we're doing so that you can gauge, uh, maybe, you're, maybe you're doing better than us, maybe you're crushing it. We're about maxed out in our market. Uh, it's gonna be hard for us to do much more than that uh, where we are because it's so, rural again a word i hate but uh if you're in a concentrated area if you're in a really good market good subdivisions around your area and you know higher end homes that's very doable guys uh, i never would have thought when i started full time that i'd be doing you know knocking close to fifty thousand dollars a month in gross profits but it's very doable there's there's guys out there uh rob anderson some of those guys that have a, a crew of trucks where they're doing seven, eight hundred thousand dollars a year is their goal. So uh, this year we're on track to do a little over three hundred if we can maintain. Uh, you know, you have some high months and some low months. Obviously, the winter months don't look like that, but the fortunately we have a long season here that we can uh, uh, make a good income. So we've got about eight to nine months that we can really roll and uh, make a good good amount of money. So. It's just crazy to me that I worked so many years of my life in corporate America for $50,000 a year, and now I'm doing $50,000 a month. And I don't get to keep all that. That is gross, right? There's a lot of expenses that go into that, but man, it would be very difficult for me to go clock in anywhere or take a salary job like I used to have and sit there and negotiate, you know, across the table. And, and they're like, all right, we're going to give you, you know, $65,000 a year. And and they're thinking that's good money and it is a good paycheck that is good money that's good money I've always heard that term now that's, he makes good money you know or so and so they they work at at such and such place they make good money well what does that mean good money is relative right if i'm if i'm popping fifty thousand dollars gross a, a month here um 60 is nothing right because if i get 60 for the whole year or i can make 50 in a month here doing soft wash then it's just it's a no-brainer and it's not just soft wash it's whatever industry you're in there's lawn care guys that do uh that kind of revenue like i said there's guys that do way more than us there's guys that do less than us so um you have to understand your market and what the what do you think the top end potential is for your market but you also don't want to be undercutting yourself and uh if you're shooting to make a hundred you're going to make a hundred if you're shooting to make fifty thousand you're going to work till you get 50,000, you're gonna let off the throttle. Um, so I encourage you guys, the money's out there. It's the economy is freaking booming, dude. Go get that, go get it, get the cheese, put it up. Uh, it's, it's a good time to be 
in business, it's a great time to start a business. Maybe you're you're doing it part time, and you don't you're not sure if you want to dedicate the capital to marketing and equipment and uniforms and a truck and all that stuff. I've got a lot of money invested into this this company, uh, getting the LLC and insurance, and all, I'm working on all that. Well, I've got insurance, but I'm working on the LLC. Um, taxes and all it adds up man but at the end of the day the more you spend if you spend it in the right place you market correctly you buy the right equipment and you go out and hustle if you've got those three ingredients you're gonna be successful uh, get the customers right have the equipment and the, the know-how to do the jobs once you get the customers and then go do the jobs and do the work you're gonna make money there's just that's just easy math this is the way it works there's no two ways about it that's a, a recipe for success so uh, if you're doing it with bootleg equipment highly recommend you get some good equipment now we are an equipment vendor and we do sell equipment so I'm you know I'm gonna encourage you to buy equipment but you've got to have equipment man you can't you can't downstream everything you can't uh, do roof cleanings with little junky stuff and be efficient it's better to have spend spend the money buy once cry once and be done with it and then go make money off of that than to try to kill yourself using subpar stuff. It's better to put money into marketing uh, the right way and get tons of, of return on investment on that than to you know, knock doors and try it that way. Yeah, you can get jobs that way, but if you would spend $500 in marketing and search engine optimization, build a website and have a Facebook page, you don't have to go knock doors and you'll get exponentially more amount of work out of what you're you're putting into it so um, you got to have those things and then you got to have the hustle it doesn't do any good to have the first two if you don't have the third and you got to get up out of bed uh, go in early stay late hustle grind it out and you'll get there man but it's i just wanted to show you that and show you guys you know i'm pretty open about how we do because i'm trying to encourage you Obviously, I'm not going to show you everything in my personal and business uh, financials, but but we're doing good, and lots of guys are doing good, and you can do good too. So get yourself squared away, man, and go do it. Go go do good. I hope you guys. Um, my goal is for all of y'all to be successful. So anyway, we'll let you run. We'll take uh, we'll take Black Cat out of the truck because he probably wind up staying in here and spending the night if I let him. But we'll check in with you guys later. Thanks.